Well, this um is the website of Peacock. If a lot of y'all know, don't know what this is, this actually came out like I can say about seven, eight months ago. And I just found out about like what I say about two, three days ago. And this is the name of the website, PeacockTV.com. This is how spelled, that's the name and everything. And this is the actual layout of the um, website. The little simple how it look. And to show y'all exactly what you can watch it on, you know, iPad, phones, TV, laptops, etc. And they also have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and... But, this is the actual website. Let me show y'all the actual app and what to go to to download and stuff like that. So you wanna go to the App Store, go to here, go to the App Store. You wanna type in Peacock. I'm gonna leave everything down in the description below what to um, type in. Here it is. Press search. Here it is right here. Press open. I'm gonna press um, click on it. And here, here's how we look. i show you the like, pictures at the bottom and everything. And they also got cartoons and all that on there for y'all kids. Now, let's open it. This is the the front page at the bottom. This is at the bottom down here. Channels, trending, browsing. I'm on browsing. And look how bright it is. Let me click on the very first top one at to the top and see what this is. You can, oh, it's a TV show. You got it to your um, favorites, your watch list, episodes, watch now. Here's the preview right here. Toxic. But we must be careful. Let me click on watch now. They try to kill me! Can you keep the voice down, please? It's a big job today. We need to be focused. Totally. Bang! <laughs> Enjoy this show with only one ad, thanks to Eno, the Capital One Assistant. Well, this is an actual TV show, too. Let me skip through it. Show y'all, this actually really plays. After a policeman was injured in yet another night of violence on the streets of South London, a non-gang leader is now in hospital after the police I don't want to go into details about it, but it seems like that's a good show right there. I'm probably going to have to add that to my favorites. I never heard about that show before, but I will be watching it now. Let's go to... All y'all know this movie right here called Hitch. This is also on here. Concept right now. You bought the shoes. You look great in the shoes. That's the you that I'm talking about. Now the key tonight is hang back. Give her plenty of space. If she lingers at a photograph, move on. This is a good movie too. But maintain the visual. It's supposed to be 64 and clear tonight. So when you leave the club. Yeah, that's a good movie too. I remember that. I remember that good movie. Let me go. Oh, and up here, look. Look. 
up here it shows all the different features tvs movies kids and all that news sports let's go to movies They got Beetlejuice on here, break the breakup. Um, and I think like for a membership or something like that, you gotta like pay for it. For like uh certain ones, um they got a lot of stuff on here, like a lot of good stuff. Oh yeah, this when it say this right here. That means you probably gotta sign up. So like certain ones that's only available for for um for Peacock. When you click on this, it's gonna get this message right here. That's what it's gonna show. That's if you wanna watch and sign up and um let me see when I click on it, what does what is gonna show? Oh, it's gonna show the little package. And look at the prices. Not bad. Four ninety nine for seven day free trial. Nine ninety nine for seven day free trial. And settings. These are the settings. But no press done. Go back. That's if y'all wanna like have the whole feature and watching every single thing on here. You can go by that route. When all the ones that have that purple um leaf on there, that's the ones you can't watch. You gotta like purchase full ninety nine membership every month. But I mean, it's not bad. But if you want to just watch the free movies already on here, you get a, a lot of categories of different movies and TV shows on here. I mean, it's not bad. Even kids, the kids on um, shows, kids shows on here. They got a lot of kids shows on here. They got news. They got sports. TV shows, I mean. Oh, let me show y'all another thing. Um on the um what's it called? On the P on the PS4 system. Let me show y'all. You got y'all can download the app exactly on here. If y'all have a PS4 system, you can download it directly. On your system and you can go to the app store and download it <clears throat> let me turn this TV on okay here we go oh it's updating or doing something I don't know Oh yeah, it's doing that. But if y'all have a PS4 system, you can also download it directly, like the app. They don't have it, the back thing, they don't have it for Amazon Fire Stick yet. You can't install it and put it on there. But I'm finna show y'all that y'all can download it on here. <clears throat> Let it load up. Look at that logo right there. Look at that big old TV. Oh, by the way, y'all have me on PS4. If y'all have PS4, that's the name right there. You know, Jagger Loco. Go to the PlayStation Store. You know, y'all go at the top, click X. You wanna search the name. It should just pop up.
Oh, here you go. Wait, I put it in the wrong thing. It's right here. So I put in P, it's right there. Press X, and there it is right there. And look, it's free to download. Press download. And there it is. It's downloading your PS4 system. You can go and give it a thumbs up. Rate it. I'm going to give it five, of course. It's downloading fast. And it shows you how many megabytes on there and stuff like that. And there's the, the side area. I'm sure you got the pictures is on here. These are the pictures. I guess all the pictures they have. Press start. Yeah, the app is on here. There's the the picture, the name, the logo. Whatever. I think that's the logo. Yeah, and it's loading up. And you can either sign up and start watching, or you would have a subscription, or you can sign in. And look at the logo, the little peacock on the side. And there it is. It's downloaded on your PS4 system. We're gonna turn this off and go and show y'all the options on my iPad. Move all this. Okay, here we go. Let's go to another movie. No, TV show. <laughs> they got Everybody Hates Chris on here, too. <laughs> Y'all remember that old show? They have Saved by the Bell on here? Are you kidding me? I know y'all remember this. Uh, did you just get here? Yeah. I was across the hall falling in love. Oh, the tall one, right? Oh, yeah. Leslie. I would have known college was this good. I would have skipped high school. <laughs> <laughs> what, man? They got said by the bell on here. You can watch this? I got to add this to my favorites, too. Damn. But as y'all see, they got a lot of different um TV shows, movies, and, you know, the category up here and all that favorites. Oh, the stuff that you continue watching, it will be right here. But, I mean, I guess that's... Oh, yeah, down here. Let's go to channels. Let it load up. And I guess these are, like, the different channels and stuff like that. Matter that that was in the UK. It, it puts oh, a and by the way, all this is live. Around the vaccine trial. It certainly will lead to a delay. Will it be a long delay? You know, are we talking months? Likely not. This is trending. This is stuff that's on here is trending. Different stuff. And you go to browse. Click on browse. That's browse. And I mean, that's pretty much it. They got news. They got sports. I mean, this, you can't go wrong. But, I mean, if y'all enjoyed this, and uh, feel free, you know, give it a thumbs up. Leave y'all comment below and let me know what movies, what TV shows, what are y'all into, what stuff y'all pretty much been watching. And I guess, you know, catching up on. Y'all take care of this is uh, really helped you out. You know, feel free to share it. And um, as I see on the layout, 
It shows clear in HD. It shows good. You can download your PS4. You can download your iPad. You can download your iPhone. And I'm going to show y'all. Oh, and give y'all some more information um, and on different things um, and information y'all need on the uh, app Peacock. So, um, yeah, y'all mean, uh, if y'all want to know anything else, y'all feel free and um, don't hesitate to ask. And these movies show completely, outstandingly good. Joining HBO Max and Quibi as the third major streaming service to launch in 2020, NBC Universal's Peacock platform enters the great streaming war with over 20,000 hours of movies and TV shows to binge. Noticeable difference between Peacock and the rest of its competitors is the free with ads tier that gives access to an impressive 13,000 hours of the library before asking you for $4.99 for ad supported access to everything or $9.99 for the whole lot. And while that free tier is a nice perk, letting you sample both back catalog greats like the Bourne trilogy and sci fi's Battlestar Galactica series, as well as originals like the ambitious sci fi series Brave New World, there are some glaring missteps that a company of NBC Universal's size as part of Comcast should have addressed before opening up to the public. Peacock's lack of support for 4K, external monitors, HDR, and Dolby Atmos is inexcusable. That goes double for not allowing you to download content for offline viewing, a function Netflix and Amazon Prime have provided for years and which HBO Max and Disney Plus supported at launch. The search options are also limited, and unless you know the exact name of a particular movie you're looking for, Peacock doesn't give you the option of searching by director or actor. Hopefully, Peacock will offer a more robust interface with tiles that read Paramount, Universal Pictures, and Sci-Fi instead of this current layout. There's also the issue with accessibility, as Peacock is only available in the USA at launch, and like HBO Max, is currently not supported by the popular Amazon Fire TV and Roku streaming boxes. Peacock has an impressive catalog of movies and TV series at launch, with content from notable studios including Sci-Fi, Universal Pictures, DreamWorks, Blumhouse, and many more. There's plenty here for people of all ages and genre preferences. On the movie front, Peacock is home to blockbuster franchises like the original Jurassic Park trilogy, the Matrix trilogy, and the Bourne trilogy. While there are some notable absences, such as having neither of the Jurassic World films, there's a satisfying amount of quality stuff, especially for free. One of the oddities you might notice while browsing the thousands that? of hours Free. of movies and shows is a timer on the upper left portion of the screen. Steven Spielberg's seminal Jurassic Park, for example, at the time of this recording, has an eight days left to watch countdown just below the film's description. The reason for this is due to NBC Universal's licensing agreements with other providers. But IGN has learned from someone close to the situation that shows and movies leaving Peacock may return at a later date. Peacock's TV library is where the service shines. By providing eager viewers with myriad programming, including classics like Saved by the Bell and Heroes, to more recent favorites like Parks and Rec and Superstore, all for free. You'll also be able to watch new episodes of shows like Blacklist and This Is Us a week after they air, unless you opt for one of the paid tiers, in which case you can watch immediately. Another area Peacock has an edge over its competitors is sports. If you're a Premier League fan, then you'll be happy to hear that this will be home to 175 exclusive matches for the 2020-2021 season. Other notable sports viewing opportunities include the NFL, U.S. Open Championship, and the Triple Crown horse races. Peacock also has tapped into the popular sports documentary market. Its initial batch of shows, including In Deep with Ryan Lochte and Lost Speedways, are a sign it's heading in the right direction. On top of its vast library of existing movies and TV shows, Peacock has also developed some of its own originals. At launch, the platform has nine shows that cover a wide range of tastes, from intriguing crime thrillers like The Capture to charming kid series like Curious George and Where's Waldo. In terms of cost, Peacock has one of the best values compared to the competition. The fact that you can watch 13,000 hours of TV shows and movies completely free without having to put your credit card information down is awesome. And if you decide to subscribe, the $4.99 offering with ads isn't too bad, considering you get live sports, news, current NBC series, and a vast library of movies to watch.
NBC Universal's Peacock streaming service boasts an impressive library of new and classic movies and television shows, as well as live sports, to keep it competitive with the growing field of rivals. At the same time, flexible pricing tiers, including an ad-supported free option we haven't seen the likes of since Hulu when subscription only, make it a viable competitor in the great streaming war. However, its inability to provide basic features like 4K, HDR, downloads for offline viewing, and a lack of curated carousels to help viewers discover what kinds of programming are available to watch are shortcomings that might well be fixed in future updates. It's still disappointing to see a prestigious company like NBC Universal fail to provide some of the basic features we've come to expect from a modern-day streaming platform at launch. For more reviews, check out our review of Peacock's new original series, as well as Disney Plus's Hamilton. And as always, subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch. Nah, I hope that really press pretty much ex give y'all example and everything y'all need to know. But I'm not done. I got another one I want y'all to like look and see. It's um how should I say this? It's this is peak. It goes in another way of um. It goes to another Peacock, more detail. Baby, it it goes to more details and show y'all um. Just the just pretty much simple and talking about the platform, the app, and going to like little simple things. And that's it. <laughs> that's all I can tell y'all. But uh, if y'all know anything else and check anything else, go in the description, go to the website, and um. Everything down in the description below. Streaming. And it's... This is Peacock. Peacock, baby! It's streaming. And it's free. E.T.? Free. Lebowski? Free. Woo! Make way for Naughty? We made it free. Get in. Whether it's apocalyptic, prehistoric, in-depth... Somebody's gotta pay. You're wrong. Or outer space. It's free. Roger that. Dingy? Cringy? Guilty? Reality? Drama. Free, 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 free. For free? Yes. No money. Yes. Free to fall in love. Free to fall in love. Like, like, like. Or just fall. Awkward. Free nope? Free yep. All right. Free to just that. This. Them. Free to upsell. Sit down. Stand up. Blow up. So if you want to pawn it, store it, throw it, play it, or say it. Did you say it? Here's where you can stream it for free. Very nice. It's free. 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 And that's why you can't not watch. I don't buy it. Well, you're going to get it for free. <laughs> and that's it. Cannot watch. But if y'all really enjoyed this and um, a little tutorial review slash uh app review um go in the comments and let me know what y'all think about it and um y'all go and sign up watch some movies watch some tv shows sit back relax get y'all snacks and um enjoy yourself and um welcome to peacock <laughs> that's a i mean a weird name for app but um it pretty much stands out and they got the peacock on there on their website, as y'all saw from the beginning. So, I don't know. I don't know how all y'all y'all feel about this app. Like, what y'all do? What y'all think about it? But me, it's okay. It's good. I mean, it's free. I mean, who don't like free? If it's if it's not free and you're not paying for it, there's really nothing you can do about it because it's not coming out your pocket. So, y'all take care, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.